Jank Odo moment. Let's talk to um, this guy, the red guy for number five, I guess. Okay, you can get in on the bus now. Yeah, we we'll just go th right into the hood of the bus, really, and just magically like, face through the bus, like we're a ghost or something. All right, on to three. Now I think you can actually run over a pedestrian, um, if he's placed right. But it doesn't hurt him or anything, of course. It's just like if you like walk right through him, basically drive right through him. But I guess it didn't happen that time, so that's good. No people were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We could use PSI teleportation technically to get back to Winters, but uh, we're gonna go back to Threed, and then we're gonna go back to Winters. If I, I think that's the first time I actually mentioned that. We're gonna go to Threed first, and then we have to go back to um, Winters. I like the music here, it's pretty nice. I like this music a lot. The bus is still pretty cool too. There we go. And look, we're back in three. Okay. All right, we made it. I'm sorry we couldn't do more for you. Remember, though, we're on your side. When you're having a tough time, just think of our songs and imagine the Runaway Five singing somewhere far, far away. By the way, why did you need to come back here? You must have forgotten some some very important item or gadget here. How is that for a guess? Am I close? Yeah, you're actually right close. We have to get back the um the one machine that Jeff used to um fly from uh, winters to three to help rescue Ness and Paula way back in I think like part twenty ish or something, twenty fifth, twenty fifth part twenty sixth part I don't even know. <laughs> well, you don't have to tell me. See you later and good luck. Okay. And then just drive off. So yeah, let's read this sign real quick. The graf there's graffiti here. Just pay it. just play it. I think that was the slogan for Nintendo in the nineties. Uh just play it. That's what the slogan was. Okay. Woo dude, like my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down here. Uh man, I totally bummed because I have another girlfriend here in the street. Oh, that's okay. Are you being? Are you? Are you cheating on your girlfriend from Tucson? How could you do that? Let's look at this guy. I lost my key to my house, so I can't get in. No, no, you don't need to look for it. I'll look for it myself. Okay. I don't think we can really help him either way, because I don't think we can pick up items like that. But we could. We could possibly pick up items like that. I can't remember. It's possible, yeah. It says, "Don't enter, not do not enter." Don't enter instead of do not enter. <laughs> okay, let's enter it anyway. Let's enter the graveyard anyway. Okay, so what we want to do from the graveyard is actually go down this ladder right here. And if this looks familiar, because it's like all blue and stuff, so it looks pretty familiar. Yeah, you go through this door. And look, the machine is fixed. We painted over the damaged parts of the Skyrun. Okay, it's called the Skyrun. I forgot what it was called. Skyrun. Okay, cool. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. It's up to you now. I want to stay if you I want you to stay, but if you can't so long. Thanks for every little old thing. You're welcome. Let's go in the Skyrunner. Let's just sort of exam uh, check it I guess with the R or the L button I mean. Ah, here's the problem and it's not too tough to fix. Hang on a sec uh, hang on for a sec or two. Yeah, it sounds like Jeff has a drill. It could be used as a potential weapon in battle mode, but he doesn't really use it, he uses a gun in battle mode, of course. And whatever science stuff he has, like a bottle rocket, or a big bottle rocket, or a bomb, or so forth. Yeah, there. That should do it. Uh, now, if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winters. That's awesome. We need Dr. Andonet's health. Andonet's health. <laughs> Please help. Uh, I can modify the machine to fly to Summers. If Dad 
I mean, Doctor and Ernest, you calm, Dad. It's not available. It's, it's not available. I'll have to figure out it all by myself. Anyway, let's go back to Winters. Let's go back to the lab out in Winters. That's it. Go, machine, go. No, you can call him Dad, though. I mean, he's your dad. He has to call him Doctor and Donuts, or whatever his name is. I butchered his last name so many times already in this Let's Play. It's not even funny. Like, I can't even. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'll look up on, I'll probably look up on the uh, Earthbound wiki if I don't if I don't forget on how to pronounce his name because it's probably his pronunciations on the wiki of Earthbound or something. So, yeah, that's a lot of trees right there. <laughs> We're up in the sky again. I like the music for the sky run. It's pretty cool. Bye, desert. <laughs> Dusty Dunes Desert. Now that I remember the name actually. We're up in the clouds again. It's, it, it flies so slowly in the sky, but when it's close to the ground, it flies away fast. Like, what the heck, man? Talk about inconsistency. Inconsistency. I don't think I said that word right. Inconsistency. I don't know. Oh, there was foresight, by the way. And we're up in the sky again. I like how the it's all cloudy, but then you can see the sky, blue sky. It's actually a nice color for the sky. Nice clouds. Yeah. And then there's the labs that went. There's the labs, the lab at Winters. Awesome. We went safely on the ground in the lab. Nice, because there's a sky roof and everything. First, um, go through. Uh, thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. I think that, that means that tied the knot means like get married or something. Got married. Yeah. Okay, honey, we just don't don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, you passed by a cave, uh, north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? I uh, can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go, go and see what's there. Okay, that's good. That's a good idea. We got a lead. We got a lead, everyone. Well, we're going to get out of here. We're still, we're still newlyweds, you know. Bye bye. Okay. And they just go off. And I think time in this Earthbound game, like, if it said the, um, thanks for helping my husband out the other day. It's been a while since, uh, it's been a while since Jeff has actually been in winters, so maybe only time passes by very slowly or something I'm not sure but yeah let's talk to you you know doctor and donuts <laughs> oh you surprised me you're nice aren't you Jeff wants what's his bed sometimes but other than that he's a good boy take care of yourself Jeff uh, and uh, I misread that last bit of dialogue the bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge I've known about it for a long time the locals call the area rainy circle but I haven't been there you wonder what's inside the cave, but, uh, huh? I understand. While you're checking on that, out that place, I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes. My co-worker Bigfoot dislikes violence. He's such, an, he's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Cool. So it's actually gone here. Instant revival, uh, revi revi revitalizing device. I'm only f in only a few seconds, this machine forced to revitalize this year. Sorry. Uh, just like a good night's sleep. And there we go. Nice. So yeah, I think we had maybe max HP and max PP before, but that's okay. 